When you see someone driving an expensive sports car or living in a big mansion or taking out a big income, do you automatically assume that the person's rich? Well, it's a very big mistake to assume that people who have great lifestyles are wealthy. The reason is the true definition of wealth is having the ability to fund your chosen lifestyle without having to work. Now, wealthy people are people who work because they want to, not because they have to. And in, in a lot of cases, people who have an over-concentration of lifestyle assets, meaning they have expensive homes and expensive cars, typically need to keep working to support those obligations. Now, truly wealthy people prioritize buying investments first. And only once they have bought investments and they've put themselves in a position of financial stability, do they then go and put money into lifestyle assets. Now, don't get me wrong. I love a good lifestyle. I have a beautiful home. I drive beautiful cars. But I always prioritize first putting money into investments like real estate, stocks and businesses. And I make sure that all of that is taken care of before I start putting money into lifestyle. Unfortunately, a lot of young people are being misled by what they see on Instagram and social media. Now, don't get me wrong. I encourage you to want a good lifestyle because that creates desire and ambition. And if you have desire and ambition, you're going to become more creative and resourceful and find ways to sustain the lifestyle that you want. But I do caution you, do not prioritize lifestyle over investments and building business assets first. You see, if you take care of the foundational elements, later on you can enjoy a great life. If you're coming from a background of no wealth, you have zero assets, it's so important that you form the discipline to first prioritize putting money for your future. Because investment assets take time to grow and create an income, it is extremely important that young people get started early. You see, I have always taken out a modest income out of my business. I'm not a high income earner. But what I do is the way I've structured myself is that instead of aiming for income, I aim for true wealth, which is the ability to be able to fund my chosen lifestyle without having to work. For me, work is a matter of choice. I'm inspired by what I do. I love what I do. I don't have to go to work and work the way I'm working right now. I work extremely hard, but that's a matter of choice. The only reason I have the ability to be able to do that is because I prioritized business and investing before I prioritized lifestyle. Now, in the early days, I did make some mistakes and I was prioritizing lifestyle over investments. And very early on, I realized that that was a big mistake. That's why my message to young people is this. Do not prioritize lifestyle over investments. Take care of your future first. Get into the habit and discipline of putting money aside to start to grow your true asset base. And as that grows over a period of time, you can start to reward yourself with the nice things that you truly want.